Okay, we've got uh, Joel Richardson here representing the uh, Scambia, am I pronouncing that right, uh, county to present New York Fire Department a commissioner, y'all, New York Fire Department sent down an award to Joe Gilchrist and we have Chief Ray Gray sent over these handsome hunks and a well, my cousins and uh, uh, Kathy and Scarlett and uh, uh, and present this to Joe. So I'm gonna step aside and let them do that. Okay? Here you go. All right. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Richardson. I'm uh, representing with these guys here from the Benito Key Fire Station. Uh, where did Tina go? Yeah, Tina dragged us into this. So, um, on behalf of the uh, Escambia County Fire Rescue, um, I would have to say that there's a, uh, a brotherhood that everybody knows about with the fire service and with the police department. I know uh, the Gunny and the General, and uh, I know I saw Commissioner Robertson back here. Over. There he is. All right. So, um, there, there's a brotherhood in the fire service where if you do something for one of us, you do it for all of us. And uh, after uh, Nell called this morning and told us about what you did for our brothers up in New York after September 11th, really uh, set us aside of, you know, we're going to make our evening come help you out. Um, so I'm going to read this from a commissioner that's written in Yankee, so I'll try to do my best. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Dear Mr. Gilchrist, on September 11th, 2001, our city and country were attacked like never before. Thousands of innocent New Yorkers and first responders were killed that day, including 343 of the greatest men to ever wear the FDNY uniform. That tragic day remains the darkest moment in the FDNY's 150-year history. From that terrible moment, we saw the very best in humanity emerge. Wonderful people from around the world, from coast to coast, and from the Florida and Alabama state line came to our aid and reminded us that we were not alone. That support, that hand of friendship, helped us at a time when we were needed at most. Your journey north a decade later on the 10th anniversary demonstrates the true depth of your commitment to us. By ensuring others do not forget what took place that day, you make certain that the memory of our fallen heroes will never fade. Your charitable work at the Florida Bama Lounge is well known, and I commend you and all of your colleagues for the great efforts. Your motto states, leave safe and happy and come again with new friends. Please know of your selfless acts. Please know because of your selfless acts, you have many new friends here in New York City who wish your safety and great happiness, and we thank you for your continued support in our city of the FDNY. Sincerely, Daniel A. Negro, uh, Fire Commissioner of FDNY. In our society, we can never do enough to thank those people that that uh, stand between us and chaos, and uh, certainly in the fire. It was it was an incredible feeling to be in New York and, and show some respect to the people and the communities up there. I was very fortunate to met through the years people that served up there as well as here. It's humbling to be part of that. Thank you.